So what I told you prior to this, we have understood what is uh, functional dependency. Now we'll understand anomalies because these two concepts are very important for uh, studying normalization. So before going normalization, we should have the clear cut concept of anomalies and what uh, functional dependency and keys. So we'll understand all this concept. Uh, so let's start with the anomalies. So there are actually three types of anomalies. One is insert anomaly and this is the solution. And I'm, I'm not going to read all this okay so I'm, I'm going to explain i'm going to explain you can see a table the table is in front of you the table name is m department that is this table is having some columns which are holding the information of employee and department that is employee id employee name address department number department name and department hod fine now the thing is this m department so if i talk roll number one is of john his address is of california his department number is 14 department name is mc and the hod is dr bernard now the thing is this if i want to enter uh if i want to enter one new department suppose i'm I, my i'm myself is an organization i have decided to open one new course and the course is mba and so what i've decided i've decided to open a one new course the course is what mba and uh, the i have also decided to take dr james dr james as an hod of my department and the code of mba is suppose 17 so this all thing is fine but since the table is attached i need to put the information of this also since i have just created a department i have not hired i have not recruited any of the employees so this will have null value this will have null value because address of employee is null because right now we are not having any employee employee name is also none and employee id is also what null so what what you have just understood is that is it possible to keep employee id as none so i have told you prior in keys that key what is key what is key what is key key is a uh, what is key attribute key attribute is always unique if i say roll number roll number is a key attribute then roll number is always unique have you ever heard the roll number of any any of the employee is same no any of the student is same no if i say employee id is employee id of any of the two employee is same no always it's a unique fine okay if i talk about ssn number say social security number have you ever heard two employee two person having the same ssn no so ssn is always unique second it cannot be null it cannot be null it cannot be null it cannot be null fine have you ever heard the employee id of any employees null fine no it's not possible so what what is the problem while inserting information of department what i found that on inserting information of department i have to put null value in some columns which actually do not accept null value while inserting in information of department what i found that purposely or forcefully i have to add null to those value which cannot accept null because of this i cannot keep information of a department because of this i cannot keep the information of this department and this is where i am unable to store the information of a department because i cannot put null to the employee id so what is actually what is actually the problem is the problem is this because the table is is composed of one more than one entity there is an entity called m there is an entity called department and we have created a table using two using two entity so what so what is the solution if i divide this table now if i divide this table so what what will happen if i divide this table what will happen so what will happen if this department table is entirely different so i'll put the information of department 17 mba dr james and in this case, I'll not put any value because this depart, this table is entirely different. And whenever I'll hire the employee and then I'll put the information. So what is the solution? Divide this table. What is the solution? Divide this table. What was the problem? Problem was that because this table was made up of more than one entity. This table was combined. Fine. Because of which you was not able to put information of a new department. So now understand the definition. It is difficult to insert new department. Fine. I've already told you it is a difficult to insert new department that has no employee so i've just told you no need to explain uh, now as yet in employee department the only way to do this is to place null values and if you want to enter you have to place what null values in attribute of employee so because there is no employee now if you want to enter the name of department you have to put null values in attribute of employee 
This causes a problem because EID is what? Primary key and primary key cannot be null and it cannot be duplicate. Fine. So this is actually the problem and it is not practically possible. So what will happen? What will happen? This is not possible. So solution is to what? Divide the table. Solution is to divide the table into entity, imp and department. So the solution is to divide the entity into two part, imp and department. So uh, this by this you can enter the information of department and whenever employee will come you will enter the and address uh, um, uh, information of employee now we come to second uh, anomaly that is delete anomaly and now before reading all this definition for you let me give you a clear cut example now again you have a table which is combined imp and department and now suppose uh, 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 there is one uh, student there is one employee there is one employee uh, named Jordan and he's from New Jersey and his department number is 16 his department is civil and his hod is dr sean what is what actually happens what actually happens employee id 107 decided to leave the organization the moment employee id 107 decided to leave the inform leave the department leave the organization what you will do you will do delete from what delete from imp department imp department where where EID is equal to what 107 the moment you run this query the moment you run this query the entire information will get deleted the entire information will get what will get deleted the entire information will get deleted what is actually the problem now only employee has left the department 107 Jordan and New Jersey has left the department department information is lost because of last employee the entire information of department is lost 16 is lost civil is lost dr sean is not even though dr sean has not left the department but just because of last employee the entire information of department is lost so what is the solution divide the table again what is the solution divide the table now if you want to delete now if you want to delete 107 you will only put delete from imp delete from imp where eid is equal to 107 the moment you do now only this information will get what deleted and this say all information will remain as it is so what will be the answer so the answer is to divide the table the answer is to divide the table the answer is to divide the table then this problem of delete anomaly will all automatically get removed fine so let's see the so let's see the theory let's see the theory let's see the definitions delete anomaly. if we delete from imp department an employee tuple that happens to represent the last employee working of our particular department the information concerning that department is lost from the database and this is what i told you if you delete the last employee of a department then information regarding to that department is also lost solution is what divide the table solution is what divide the table fine okay now the come the last anomaly which is update anomaly so till now we have understood insert anomaly we have understood delete anomaly and now we are going to understand update anomaly so now in this table before studying this definition in front of you you have seen a table and now you can see that me department mechanical department has three employees now what what will happen if mechanical department has 3000 employees now suppose if mechanical department is having 3000 employees and what happens dr william is heading the department dr william is heading the department so in the name of 3000 in front of 3000 employee what we are repeating always is dr william now what happens if dr william left the organization and dr james joined in place of dr william so what i have to update i have to update this imp department the moment i update i have to update 3000 times i have to update 3000 time because and this is inefficiency this is actually inefficiency this is actually inefficiency why to update 3000 time because this 3000 time dr william is written now what is the solution divide the table divide the table now if you divide the table so what will happen what will happen only one time the, the 15 me dr william will come we will actually this table is divided we have not attached uh, department information with every employee now if you what now if dr williams leave the organization and dr james joins the organization what happens that dr dr you have to 
update only one time so have you seen the difference only one time have you seen the difference when the table was attached you have to update 3000 times when table was not attached you have update only one time so this is the biggest difference this is this is inefficiency this is inefficiency one thing more suppose there is 3000 employees 3000 employees and in front of 3000 employees dr william was written dr william was written now suppose dr william left the department and we updated dr william to dr james and by mistake only 2500 employee has been updated they are updated with dr james on and remaining 500 is are still having dr william so what we are getting an inconsistent result that 500 employee of mechanical department is showing that they are being headed by dr william while 2500 are being represented by dr james so this is inconsistency so uh, update anomaly leads to, leads to two problem one is inconsistent result or it leads to inefficiency that you have to update 3000 time so what we have understood till now is that there are three time kinds of anomalies one is insert anomaly insert anomaly do not let you to insert information of department because table is combined and because of which because of null value and because of primary key it does not allow you to enter the information of new department what is delete anomaly if suppose the employee is representing the last information of a table last employee of the department and if, if that employee leave the department then entire information of department is also lost and what is update anomaly if suppose there are 3000 or 5000 on one lakh employee of a department and and their head is changed then it could lead to while updating it could lead to inconsistent result or it could lead lead to inefficiency so this was all about three anomalies so thank you